With many state governments declaring lockdown to tackle COVID-19 situation, many of us may have chosen to stay back at home. And some may be staying in an apartment complex and others at their own house. And for those who are staying in an apartment may have decided not to venture out of their flat. And their car is going to stay in the porch for quite a long time. And it may ruin their car. So there are certain things which need to be taken care of during the lockdown period so that it doesn't ruin their car. Let's see what they are. Anticipating the lockdown to be extended, many would just wash their car and park their car straight into the porch. But you have to be a little careful because the water is not completely dried off from various parts of the car. Many of us make a mistake. Immediately after washing the car, we just go and straight away park the car into the porch. But without letting the water dry from the main parts of the vehicle, especially the brake components. When the water stays, especially in the rotor, it causes rust. And later, after a few weeks after the lockdown is relaxed, when you take out your vehicle, the wheels would have been jammed. So hence, it's very important to make sure that the water is completely dried out before parking your car in the porch. After having washed our car, many of us forget to clean this area. What happens is, over time, dirt accumulates in this area and the water droplets, when mixed with the dirt, forms a black stain and at a later stage, it could lead to corrosion. Clean the interiors well. With children in your house, it's most likely that they would have left a chocolate or biscuit cover inside the car. When left for long, attracts pests and ruins your car. Vacuum and clean your cabin and let it dry nicely, allowing air to circulate in your car before parking it in the porch. Make sure not to engage hand brake or parking brake because when it's your car is going to remain idle for quite a long time and if your hand brake is engaged, what happens is the brake pad gets stuck with the brake rotors or desk and you may find it difficult to take your car out at a later date. Okay. I had mentioned of not to engage the hand brakes on a car when it's your car is going to remain idle for quite a long period of time. But that's not the case with cars with automatic transmission, especially if it's going to be parked on the street. What happens is if you don't engage your handbrake and you stop your car only on the park gear and in case if another car comes and knocks your car there is a high chance of your transmission getting damaged hence for cars with automatic transmission it's advisable to first engage the handbrakes and then shift to the park gear it's advisable to fill your tires with nitrogen or compressed air because nitrogen stays longer than that of compressed air fill your fuel tank to full because the air above the fuel inside the tank will condense and build up moisture thereby causing rust inside the tank. Lift your windshield wiper so that it doesn't get stuck to the windshield or else place a cloth in between the windshield wiper and the windshield. For commercial vehicles and tourist cars which are going to remain idle for quite a long time it's always advisable to jack up all four wheels so that the weight doesn't fall on the tires. Earlier Truck drivers used to cover their tires with sack so as to protect the tires from sun. If your car is not going to be taken out for three weeks or more, it's advisable to remove the negative terminal of your battery. If you're going to park your car outside on the streets, make sure to cover it with a very good car cover and please ensure not to park it under a tree because during rainy season, there are high chances of the branches falling on your car. So also tree sap and bird droppings. If your car is going to remain idle for a considerable long period of time, it's advisable to spray all electrical components, especially the wires with rod and repellent, so as to prevent rats from eating up wires. Start your car once in three days or at least once a week, so that it lets the oil lubricate all the parts and Try moving your car for a certain distance so that it doesn't cause a flat spot on your tires. Stay home and stay safe. Hope you all would have liked watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel to watch new videos. Thank you.